maybe I can bait us Pluck. Good shit. What is up, beautiful people? It's Saladin here, still a little bit under the weather with that sexy voice coming at you. Uh, playing Chernabog and Rain Conquest, the company here by what looks like an Asia troll that wanted to go jungle when the jungle was already picked. Habwa in the jungle actually went Major's Blessing, so we're pretty much fucked. But maybe we will be able to do something? Cerberus locked in first pick uh, without banning. Mercury, which is amazing. Attack. Okay. He has a juke god, holy shit. And he's very dead. I am tanking the minions, which is not good. They got the first blood, so it was totally worth it for them. Since Neja is not a person, I will go for my purple instead of aggression on theirs. Which would be the play if I had a support. wave. No reason for me to push out. They're playing very passively. And I don't believe in the ability of this Naja to stall the wave. Oh, we're getting ganked, huh? It's a bang gank. We got ganked, nothing happened. jump Thanks. I don't have beats anymore so now we have to actually fall back does Ramon not have his dash Gotta push the next wave and back for full boots. Push the next wave, I'm gonna hold back into the fight. Not on point. Okay. The 
Mm, that kind of missed the point. Unfortunate. Ah, uh, Rama just dashed. Oh, I can be in trouble here. Good thing we have a boy in the jungle. I'm very dead. <clears throat> so much bullshit. Agni's pushing my wave now. So we're gonna take these smalls. Take the ramp off as well. Gonna wait for that purple here. I need the jump spot. Enemies in the jungle. I'm actually not gonna push anywhere. This wave is about to collide. Oh, we got it. We're gonna talk about this one. Okay. You can't be okay. Dying. Just gonna pull it back to my side a little bit. Be careful left. Be careful landing left. Your right tower is there. Don't wanna lose that gold. Ram lost. I'm freezing the wave, so he comes in. Good job. Stall the wave again. Enemies in the left this guy just pushed out the wave for no fucking reason. That's his dash. Now I can push aggressively. Still need a bit of gold. This red is gonna fall down before I get there. Enemies have returned left. That was some really good damage. Okay. Okay. I'm just backed. Be careful left. Retreat. Enemy Follow me. Right. Follow me. Enemy missing. Retreat. Falling back. I got him back for full deaths. And old back into lift. They're on me. Unfortunate. Falling back. Enemy missing. Ward the gold fury. The trap is set. Enemy missing middle. <laughs> Be careful, left. 
I stayed on the goal because I should and we got it. Take this jungle bop. Gonna push the next wave and fall back. Our support, <laughs> so-called support. Is top damage, which is fine. Be careful, Niddle. Be careful, Niddle. Be careful, Niddle. Be careful, Niddle. Hi. Let's see if I can solo this guy. No problem. You rock. Okay. Darkness. Oh no! One of my guys got killed. One of the other guys just got got. Be careful. Hmm. Falling back. He's going for his purple. Enemy missing left. Pretty good. They were ganking me on left. I transitioned immediately to the right. My team was able to get a kill and pretty much good overall. And now we have a pyro to reach back our lane, which is amazing, but looks like Naja is dying. He has no mana whatsoever. And he's way too deep. That's like super greedy. Super greedy mana.
my I can go him. Enemy ultimate down. He's backing away, I don't see him anymore. Good job, man. On my way. Go for gold. Check the gold. Gold's coming up. I'm gonna do it alone. I don't think I can, right? Nah, no way in hell. I gonna fucking do it. actually coming up so I'm gonna be doing that gotta back off take Odie bow and old back into the realm Not a smart decision. If I ulted immediately, I would have survived and get got out. But I let the Rom come to come closer to the uh, Erlang Shang, and that actually cost me my life because they were both there. Well, looks like we're about to roam because my guys are taking the tower from my call. Actually, take it. I think I actually shouldn't have. I need the jungle buff. Be careful, Diddle. I'll get the pyro. I need the jungle buff. Help. My hero is shot in my enemies. You can't hide me. I'll attack by a giant. That was some really good stuff. Let's push the right tower as well. Maybe force a Bologna teleporter if anything. Attack! 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 I cannot attack. Can always fall back. Good shit. They really don't want to take it, I guess. We'll try to do some damage on our own. Back anyway, since I took so much damage, but it's all right. I don't need your help, man. You better zone them. Another point for the good guy. 
Allies and enemies enslaved. On my way. That's a twofer. That was a good one. Now we're gonna clean up the fight, and it's gonna be GG. Good game, boys. Well, that'll be some Sherdebog action for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the game. It was a little bit slopey at times, but overall we did a fine job. A very quick summary would be me going into straightforward cookie cutter build till execution and then picking up Odibo, an item that actually I find very, very strong right now, uh, considering, with a little note, it gives so much attack speed that if you really, really suck at being an ADC, you should pick it up. It will allow you to land a lot more odd attacks and be a lot less forgivable to your mistakes. If you just not play an ADC in general, which I don't, <laughs> I usually now like to pick up Odibo. It gives me a lot of edge in a lot of boxing matches, like this game for example. Enemy goes into straightforward Poison Star. At this point, I'm smacking him with the Odibo power and, well, finishing, topping it off with some crit. Outplayed him a lot in lane. Actually got killed once, I believe, so unfortunate, but overall did better job than he. Naja on the support builds brawler bit stick for some goddamn reason but then actually goes into su semi support items which is i guess decent might have been worse the first pick cerberus solo lane goes full support build actually and uh with a teleport and blink so if i actually lost my lane with rama on the enemy team and erlang shang and us having no thorns we would have been so fucked it's just hard to describe our mid laner Build is okay. I hope that this is a divine, not a spirit. Deso, decent build, decent gameplay from what it looks like. I wasn't paying attention to him. Hobwa jungle, just goes some power, then goes immediately into a lot of protections, a little bit of penetration, some CDR. Don't like the build, didn't like the gameplay, but judging by the score, he was doing a semi decent job, so I guess we'll take it. So big on the enemy support was overall not very good. The build is, it's obvious that he made some research, but his dash on me with having beats, I literally bit it, I just stood there and he dashed and I beat and he died and it was super, super simple. And that gave out the fact that he's not a very experienced player overall. Erlang Shang uh, was in the jungle, was doing fuck all, ganking us three times, not killing anyone. I guess once he killed Sobek, which doesn't matter as long as he doesn't kill me. His first gang was just <laughs> absurd uh, by how useless it was. Doesn't build first item uh, boots in the jungle. The Scordia build is okay. Gameplay wasn't. She was constantly out of position. Pretty straightforward in the team that is so much behind, to be honest. Bologna. Bologna was doing a decent job, I guess, in terms of judging by the build and everything, but. I guess this is where Habwa spent most of his time, because Cerberus is for O, he, and he wasn't present anywhere near our lane, so I guess didn't really have much time to pay attention to that. Judging by the numbers, I am outputting the same amount as uh, Agni, who did a pretty significant job in solo lane, or who at this point still in laning phase, was smacking constantly the enemy Bologna. Our Naja at some point was top damage, which is funny, and yeah, Habwa mid to late game from this point on and it would have been only worse for them. Dishes out quite significant amount of damage. I'm sitting 5k pretty on top of Rom considering that we have 13 and he has 8. It's an insane amount. Solo laners pretty much same damage. Our mid actually sitting 5k on top as well which is great. Our jungler more than twice the damage. 15 almost 16k on top. Actually 15k on top. Very pretty. Our support, 4k on top of the Sobek. Overall, great game. And if you guys enjoyed the video of playing me of me playing the OP Chernobyl, one of the best ADCs right now because of his rotation potential with his ultimate and the ability to come back directly back to your lane if you want. It's just amazing. So hopefully you enjoyed me playing some OP shit, guys. And as always, leave a comment, leave a like. Have a wonderful day. I will see you in the next video.